Okay, looks like I'm on the green. <laughs> hey, what's up? Welcome to Team Faithful Golf. As always, this channel is here to inspire people to get out of their comfort zone, play more golf, couples to spend time with each other, and you guys just to follow us on our journey to play good bogey golf. As we always say, bogey golf is enjoyable golf. So today it's just me, I'm at Monterey Park and I'm gonna do a nine hole to kind of assess where I'm at. Again, the goal is bogey golf. We're not professionals. We're just out here to have a good time. So buckle up, let's go. All right, hole number one, it is 280 yards. Again, it's our pursuit of bogey golf. Follow us for the journey, see how this goes today. One ninety. I'm trying to be smarter in my club selection, but this is the first hole, so I'm gonna do what I, I think, would be the right club, and see what happens. This is a three wood. Third shot. It's a tough one because there's a bunker right in front of the green. I'm gonna try and play it a little bit left because I don't even wanna flirt with that bunker. So here we go. I flirted with the bunker. <laughs> this is a horrible lie. I'm on the bank of a bunker. I really don't even know how to play this, but I'm just gonna try and swing, get out, play the next shot. It's my fourth shot. All right, we're out. The screen is going uh, left to right, and I'm just going to aim about a cup outside of the hole. It is going downhill a little bit, so it's gonna break a little bit more than I anticipate. Yeah, scary, scary. Oh, you hate to start the day out with a snowman, but some people say you hate to start the day out with a birdie. I would much rather start the day out with a birdie than a snowman. <laughs> so hole number two, yardage is about 148. It always takes me about four holes to kind of get my mind right. And I'm just gonna try and settle in a little bit earlier today. Hopefully the second hole will treat me better than the first one. I think the yardage was right, just a little bit to the right. 148 yards, I used an eight iron to get here. As you can see, as far as the pin is concerned and the distance, it was the right club. Uh, if I was straight, could possibly be on. I could use a 58 to chip on right now. Both Rachel and I are kind of struggling with the consistency of our chipping. Sometimes it's great, and then other times it's just a little weird. So I'm just gonna try a long putt try and get a two putt and walk away with a par, if not a bogey. This looks like it's going right to left. So I'm just gonna, again, just a nice firm putt and see where we end. And I'll take that. Par. All right, hole three, glad to get off the snowman train and on to the party train. But now we're at hole three. This is a elevated tee, so it's playing 135 and uh, I'm going to just use, I feel like I should use a wedge and lay up.
Went a little left, we'll see where it ends up at. So as you can see, as far as distance is concerned, my ball is right here and the flag is right here. So again, if we would have hit the ball straight, it would have been a pretty good shot. This time I am gonna try the 58 and just see if I can just do a little chip on, see what happens. Slow down. That just took off. And that's what I was afraid of the most. Good news is I didn't go in this bunker right here. Bad news is I have to use this thing again and hope that I don't skull it or do something goofy. I'm just going to try and do a nice little chip. That's the road to bogey golf. <laughs> so hitting fourth shot right now. This is such a tricky green to put on super slanted undulation is crazy so i'm just going to aim kind of more towards the middle of the green and just try and get my pace right not bad all right I'll take it. These are the holes that you kind of learn something on. And uh, you just hope not to walk away with a snowman. Okay, hole number four, it's 125 yards. So I'm gonna try and use a nine, not take a full aggressive swing and see what happens. Take it, I'm on the green. We'll see, we can two putt for a par. This worked out well. I was aiming a little bit right, hoping it would kick off this slant right here and roll onto the green. Now I'm in position for a birdie. Can I bring it home? Do I miss it long and possibly risk putting myself in a worse position or just kind of laying up and making sure that I can like knock it down? It looks like it's breaking right to left. Give it a nice smooth swing. That was a little too much. Now let's bring it home for a par. Party train. <laughs> 115, hole number five. I think one of the most frustrating things about playing at this level a year into our journey is the inconsistency. Consistency is the key, and we're gonna just try and get this on the green. Oh. Ah, a little too much. Just a little bit too much. Came out hot, but it did get the loft that I wanted. It just, this green slopes down. So as soon as it hit the green, it just took off. I'm not gonna play around with this. I'm just gonna use my putter, try and get it close, knock it in for a bogey. This is bogey golf, and this could be enjoyable golf. A par and birdie would be better, but this is enjoyable. Those lip outs will kill you. Like I said, feast or famine, one good hole, one bad hole, one good hole, one bad hole. I hate it, but it's the process. Just coming off of a very, very unnecessary double bogey. So we're gonna try and make this a par or bogey uh, hole and take it from there. Ah. 
So the straight shot just came up a little bit short. So I'm going to just try and use my gap wedge, get it over this little rough right here. Hopefully it gets on the green and rolls out a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Okay, I'll take it. I really don't even know how to read this. I don't even know where I'm aiming, but I'm going to just try to aim right of the hole and hope that it breaks down a little bit. I'll take it. Bogey golf. <laughs> All right, hole seven, 140 yards. We're gonna try and put consistency together. Another great shot. Not trying to go for the flag. Just get it on the green, two putt, walk off. Let's see what happens. Crap. I think I'm over the green with an eight iron. I went way long, so I'm just gonna try and use my gap wedge, get up there, de-loft it, cause there's trees right here and everything. So let's see how this goes. See when we get up there. Super scary putt right now because if you miss this long, it is shooting down this hill like crazy. <sighs> you don't even understand how scary that putt was. <laughs> to walk away with this hole with a bogey is like hitting a birdie, honestly. All right, we are on hole eight, it's 140. Again, coming off of a great one putt hole. It was a bogey, but like I said, those kind of bogeys feel like birdies. I'm just gonna try again to aim straight and hopefully two putt. So as you can see, distance-wise, it was the right club. It's just super left. And now I've left myself with an incredibly hard downhill chip. Whatever I was gonna use, it's gonna be really difficult. Uh, because once it hits that green, if it hits that green, it just shoots downhill. So I'm gonna have to hit it short. But how short is the key? Didn't get enough. And here's where the wheels fall off. I'm so scared to hit it, I just... If that hits that, oh, that heel, it's gonna roll all the way down there. Oh, see? That's what I was afraid of. So yeah, you can only call on the golf gods to bail you out of poor golf so many times. I would love to one putt this, but a two putt would be great too. So, oh, and it's downhill. Good pace. I can't ask for more. Um, I hit two really bad shots, actually three really bad shots. And so that right there is already par. Next hole. So yeah, ninth and final hole, 286 yards. 
This is one of those holes at Monterey Park, the first hole and the ninth hole, you can actually use your driver. I didn't have a good driver showing the first hole, but now hopefully the ninth hole, I'm warmed up, I can get the driver loose. And if I get up there, I can turn this one into a par hole. Bogey golf is the key, but we'll take pars and birdies all day. Hit that a little fat, but straight. So good second shot. I am 86 yards from the hole. So I'm gonna just use my gap wedge. I'm gonna try and get on the green, two putt, go home with a par. Okay, looks like I'm on the green. <laughs> Further than I want it to be. I'm in the rough right off the green. I almost feel like I have to use my 58 because I don't think I'm going to be able to putt out of that. And that's scary. <laughs> nice pace. Starting out with a snowman and then with a par is what this game is all about, is staying consistent, staying focused, uh, never getting too down on yourself. And that's what Team Faithful is about, staying committed, staying consistent, and staying faithful to the people that you love, your family and your friends. So this is Team Faithful Golf, and thanks for joining us for the journey.